So again, in the problem that specifies an exact number of factors, you have to figure out what that means. Okay, what has two factors? Well, that's obviously a prime. One times three. What has three factors? We've seen another problem like this. Well, that's, I mean, if I try to add two to that, like I was saying, I, I don't just get two as a new factor. I get two times three as well, six. I can't just add one at a time like that by adding a new distinct prime. So what I do is I square what I already have, and that just adds a new prime, which is the one the one distinct prime I already had, three times itself, give me nine. So three factors is a prime squared. How do I add one more from that? I could raise it to another power, prime cubed. Okay, because that's just add one more prime. Now there's other, once we get four factors, there's other ways to do that. Like a number like six has two, uh, or has four factors. So it's not exclusive, just being a prime cube. Um, so they don't ask questions about four factors, but if, but if, how do we have five factors? How do I just add one to this amount, raise it to another power? One, three, nine, 27, 81. That's a way to just add one to what I had, one more factor to what I had before. Um, okay, so which of these must be true? The square of a prime, we know it's not that. The fourth power of a prime, yeah, that's what we were saying in the two primes, it's not that. 